Episode number 11, D'Artagnan's Trance. Juliet, where are you, Juliet? Answer me, please, Juliet! Juliet! Oh, Juliet, where are you? Juliet! D'Artagnan is desperately Juliet! searching for his beloved Juliet, but as he wanders the streets of Paris, he can see no sign of her. Anteros, Miss Juliet. You call her, too. <laughs> Master, let's split up and each take a different street. Good idea. We'll rendezvous later. You take Sandy and we'll meet at Point Neuf at 8 o'clock sharp. I cannot confide in anyone, not even in you. I thought the only bumble brain among my men was Widemir, but it seems that I was mistaken. <laughs> Who is laughing? Who is there? How did you get in? I cannot tell you. It is one of my secret tricks, Your Eminence. <laughs> and why do you honor us with your presence? If I am not mistaken, you are going through some very unpleasant moments because of a simple young woman. Therefore, if it pleases you, I will solve that problem. Are you absolutely sure you can solve it? Eminence, you have known me too long and too well to think that I would ever disappoint you. I am pleased to hear you say that, and I agree to leave this matter in your hands. Take this, and I will give you twice as much when you have finished your job. Thank you. I wish you luck, my lady. You will soon have good news, Eminence. When carrying out this particular kind of work, Count Rochefort, you must use your head instead of your sword. <laughs> he who laughs last, laughs best. Immediately that I have spoken with the Duke of Buckingham. Can't lady-in-waiting, making fun of me. What's the matter, Monsieur Widemir? On the double, arrest that young woman. Which woman are you referring to, Captain? Uh, well... It's that one in the dark cape. Hurry up, I'll give a promotion to the first one of you louts who captures her. Right, Captain. Oh, 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 come on, Come on, Mademoiselle, take him. If you care to see my master, Dog Canyon, he'll be at Point Neuf at 8 o'clock sharp tonight. Thank you. I will try to be there at 8 sharp. Very well, then. Bye. Run, Sandy, run. He appears and disappears with the speed of lightning. Come back, Come back. Come back. Come back.
Eagle's guardsmen were pursuing her. I let her have your horse so she could escape. What? Before she left, I told her you were coming here, and she said she'd try to come at 8 o'clock sharp. Good work, Planchette. Thanks. But just the same, I am worried about Mademoiselle Juliet, so please go tell Athos, Porthos, and Aramis what's going on. Yes, Master. Wonderful. That poor soul is making my job easier. Go. Get up there. Don't be so shy. Won't you come in, please? <gasps> I am very flattered by your interest in me, Cavalier. I really don't know uh, why. Oh, don't beat around the bush. One of the qualities I admire most in a gentleman is sincerity. Friends? It is a great honor for me, and I am always sincere. I want you to know that I am thrilled to meet such a beautiful lady. Would you like to have tea with me? We will talk and get to know each other so well, we will seal our friendship for the rest of our lives. With pleasure. What is the matter? Don't you like tea? Never tried it. I use honey to sweeten it, but perhaps you prefer it without. No, if you like it, I'll also like it. Then try some. Sandy is alone. Ooh, 
Where's Dog Tanyon? I don't think he can be far from here. Dog Tanyon! Dog Tanyon! Dog Tanyon! Dog Tanyon! It's quite possible he's gone to the palace to find Juliet. If that were so, he would have taken Sandy. We're not accomplishing anything here. Let's go. By the light of the moon, you will do as I order you, D'Artagnan, and tonight at the stroke of three, you will kill me. Regret is to have bothered you at this hour, Eminence. To bring me such news, <laughs> you don't bother me at all. The important thing is that a musketeer of Treville's will assassinate the Queen. That scandal will force His Majesty the King to disband the Corps of Musketeers, and then I alone shall control the policy of France at my whim. Good work, eh, Rochefort? Hmm. Don't you know that you cannot enter the palace at this time? Hey, if I am not mistaken, you are the cadet dog Tanyon. Ah! Who might this be? Hey, you, where, where are you going? going? It is forbidden to enter at this time of night. Ah! ah. Majesty, please go on sleeping. By all the saints, you seem very worried about something. Tell me what happened. The henchman of Cardinal Richelieu kidnapped me, but fortunately <gasps> I managed to escape. Oh, thank the Lord you're here. I have spoken with the Duke of Buckingham. We have agreed on a rendezvous tomorrow at midnight. I will bring him to the palace later so you can meet with him. Thank you very much, Juliet. With his help, I can destroy the plans of Cardinal Richelieu. But you must be very prudent. If he ever finds out the Duke is here, I'll be accused of treason. Yes, Majesty. How dare you? It's Don Tanyon! Do you know him? Yes, but he doesn't seem the same. Tonight at three, you will kill the queen. There's good news? Yes, my lady. All is going well. I've fulfilled my promise to you, Eminence. The rest is in your hands. Hmm. I'll take care of the rest. You can take the coach with you, my lady, but come and fetch me later. Thank you. Get up there. Yeah. D'Artagnan, have you lost your mind?
hope he's only wounded and I haven't killed him. Is he your friend? Yes, Majesty. His name is Dog Tanyon, and he is a cadet of the Musketeers. Is he the one who fought against the Cardinal's guardsmen along with the three Musketeers? Exactly, Majesty. The same one. If he is the same one, I do not understand his behavior. Nor can I understand it, Majesty. Oh, why do you wake me up at such an ungodly hour? Has anything serious happened? As a matter of fact, Your Majesty, I have been informed that someone has entered the palace with the intention of killing the Queen. What? No! What? Dog Tanyon has entered the palace by force? It can't be! We have spoken with the Musketeers on guard, and all of them have confirmed it was Dog Tanyon. By all the saints, where is he now? We don't know. Hmm. Let's ask the ones who are on guard. We've told them to keep silence until we've cleared up the situation, sir. Yes, you've done well. Perhaps we can solve this matter without giving it too much importance. Those on guard must remain at their posts as if nothing has happened. I'm curious as to who gave you this information. Ah! One of the guards, but it is not important now. Time is wasting. Hurry, Your Majesty, hurry! It's just that it takes me a long time to dress by myself. I'm not used to it. You say it was one of the Musketeers? Yes, a cadet of the Musketeers. Will you please stop talking nonsense? A cadet on guard in the palace? I'm telling you, a cadet is the assassin, but we must not waste time, Majesty. I don't understand anything you're telling me. I hope it's a false alarm. So do I. What are you doing? Are you trying to drown me? His behavior is different now. He seems to be completely changed. But who is she? Juliet, I don't know this lady. And another thing, what am I doing here? Where am I? Don't you remember anything at all? Dog Tanyon, this lady is Her Majesty Queen Anne, and you are trying to kill her. But that's impossible. I'd just as soon kill myself. You really tried to kill her. But why did I do it? There's got to be an explanation. I only remember that a lady dropped her handkerchief. I returned it to her house, and we had tea. After that, I, I, I don't remember. That lady is at the bottom of this. Yes. Anne, it is I, Louis. Are you all right? Answer me. It's the king. Anne, are you still sleeping? Perhaps we have arrived too late, and the assassin has already... Oh, don't be a bird of bad omen. Majesty... Silence! Don't you hear me? Open the door, please! One minute, Majesty. Anne, don't keep me waiting in the hall, please. Yes, right away. You see, there's no reason to fear for her life. I can't explain it, Majesty. Majesty, I beg you to forgive Dog Tanyon. Please let him go free. Agreed. Take him away. Come with me. Yes. Fantastic, a secret passage. What are you waiting for? We can't stay here. Right. Oh, please do come in, dear. I can't imagine what you're doing up at this late hour. Are you all right? She's still alive. The lady has also failed me. However, that stupid dog Tanyon must still be around here somewhere. Cardinal, I trust that I need not remind you that you are in the bedroom of the Queen. Well, Richelieu, I hope you are convinced that this was simply a false alarm. Yes, Majesty, my apologies. I will not condemn you in the least since the Queen is safe and sound. Thank you, Your Majesty. If it is not any bother, I should like to search the room. Cardinal Richelieu, don't you think it is enough to have awakened me at this hour? That's enough, Richelieu. You may leave the room. Yes, Majesty. I'm very sorry to have disturbed your sleep, Anne. Do go back to bed now. Thank you. Oh, forgive me, my dear husband. I had no choice but to lie to you. Otherwise, Juliet's friend would not have been saved. You can find your way from here by walking towards that light at the end. It will lead you out of the palace. You don't know how sorry I am, Juliet, that we have to part again. But I want to ask you something. You're mixed up in a very dangerous affair, aren't you? Why don't you tell me about it? Perhaps I can help you. I'm very sorry, Dog Tanyon, but I can't do it. When the time comes, you'll be the first to learn about it. And now please go and be careful not to be seduced by another lady. Who, me? <laughs> seduced by a lady? Oh, you fool. You think only of yourself and never about me. Sorry. I don't know why I asked Her Majesty to forgive you. I almost forgot. Thanks a lot. I don't know why I worry about you, nor why I love you so much. She was worried? And she loves me?
Who is that? If I'm not mistaken, it's Dog Tanyon. You're not mistaken, Aramis. It is Dog Tanyon. And what's more, he looks very happy. She loves me, she loves me, she loves me, she loves me. The love of Juliet has made our hero happy again, and has made him even more determined to become a musketeer. For now, more than ever, he believes in their motto, one for all and all for one. In our next episode, Juliet is forced to fight for her life, while the three musketeers attempt to rescue her from the giant fortress known as Castle Gallard, where they believe she is being held by Cardinal Richelieu and the Black Moustache. But is she really there, or is it a trap? Episode 12, Dog Tanyon to the Rescue. Our adventure continues in the spy-infested secret hideaway of Cardinal Richelieu. He was in her room, and yet he has escaped our trap? Yes, but I don't know how. It is obvious that Dog Canyon was in the palace, and the guards there must have known it. But the palace guards are Treville's musketeers and will say nothing. Our attempt to disgrace the musketeers and seize control of the palace has failed. When you entered the Queen's room, what did she say? That she had been sleeping, but the disorder of her room proved otherwise. I have no doubt at all that she helped him to escape. It must have been obvious to you, Your Eminence, that someone had been there. Under the circumstances, there was nothing I could do. I cannot call the Queen of France a liar. Unless, of course, I can prove that it's true. But how in the world did Dog Tanyon escape from the palace without being seen? A secret passage, perhaps? A passage? My spies have reported that there are secret tunnels leading from within the palace to the outside eminence. A pity we didn't know of this before, but we can still use it to our advantage if we locate one of these passages. Your Eminence, my informers believe there to be two secret passageways leading to the Queen's Chamber, one from the Seine River and the other from the forest west of the palace. I'll place guards at the tunnel entrances day and night to intercept the Queen's secret messengers. If I may, Your Eminence, I will guard one of them. Mm -hmm. It would seem a logical choice, Your Eminence. <clears throat> I agree. Widema, you will guard the passage entrance in the western forest. May it please, Your Eminence, I'll guard the entrance at the river. Agree, Rochefort. We'll soon have the evidence we need to accuse the Queen of Treason. Meanwhile, at the headquarters of the Musketeers... It seems unbelievable, but if what you say is true, this lady hypnotized you and then ordered you to kill Her Majesty the Queen. Yes. That monster Richelieu is more dangerous than I thought. Dog Tanyon, can you describe this lady to me? I recall only that she was very beautiful, Captain. Hmm, beautiful and one of Richelieu's spies. Milady? Hmm? I can't be sure, but I think I know who she might be. Milady, you called her. Who is she? By reputation, she is clever and ruthless, and if paid enough, she is capable of anything. It seems you know a great deal about the lady. Well, no. Just by reputation. I understand. As for you, Dog Tanyon... Yes, Captain? Until this whole affair is settled, you must be confined behind bars. That is an order. If you attempt to escape, you will be expelled from the Musketeers. If Richelieu believes we think Dog Tanyon's guilty, he may relax his guard. So you three must see to it that Dog Tanyon remains in his cell, or I'll be forced to expel all of you. Understand? Yes, yes sir. sir. It won't be for long, my lad. Hmm, the entrance to the passage must be right around here. I'm sure Rochefort said this was the place. It must be here somewhere. Rochefort's informers must have been mistaken. There's no sign of a secret passage. Well, I'm tired. I'll rest for a while. Widemere, of course, wouldn't know a tunnel from a hole in the ground. Meanwhile, Juliet is on a secret mission for Her Majesty Queen Anne, little realizing the danger she will face as she steps outside. Hey. That's odd. It opened so easily the time before. Hey. Uh. 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 You're safe now, 
are, my dear, and that's all that matters. I'm so grateful. I can't thank you enough. It was my pleasure. Drive faster, coachman. Don't stop until I tell you. Damn. Yeah! Yeah! catch up to us now, I'm sure of that, aren't you, dear? I believe your name is Julian, isn't it? Yes, but how do you know my name? I also know the name Dog Canyon and what he did at the palace last night. Mm -hmm. Then you're the one that hypnotized him. Good for you. I can see that you're a very clever girl, but not clever enough, for now you will be forced to testify that Dog Canyon tried to kill the Queen last night. I love him! I will not betray him, no matter what you do to me! I'm sure I'll persuade you. Stop the coach! What were you trying to do, kill yourself? You stupid girl. Wait, why run? You can't escape. It's my duty to try! Impossible for you to escape, you stupid girl. Come back here. You say you captured her and then allowed her to escape. I find this hard to believe, my lady. My apologies, Your Eminence. From what Captain Widemere was telling me, he was just about to capture her when you appeared on the scene. It sounds almost as if you were rescuing her. What reason would I have to do such a thing, Your Eminence? Anything is possible for one such as you, my lady, whose only loyalty is to those people who have enough money to buy it. Your accusation is unfair and unjust, for I've never been unfaithful to you, nor given you any reason whatever to mistrust me. Here is the proof that what I say is true. Proof? What is that? This, Your Eminence. It is the cuff from the sleeve of Juliet's dress. A piece of cloth doesn't prove a thing. Even if she did survive, which I doubt, we can claim she's in our hands, and then we can trap Dog Tanyon when he tries to rescue her. A very fine plan. When we capture him, we'll make him confess, and that will be the end of Treville and his musketeers. Precisely, Your Eminence. Now we must find the ideal place to trap Dog Tanyon. I would say Gallard Castle, Your Eminence. Fine, get everything ready. Widemere, see to it that Dog Tanyon believes that Juliet is in our hands. Yes, sir. At present, our hero is in no position to rescue anyone. He sits alone in his cell in the Bastille prison, honor bound not to try to escape. Captain Treville has chosen too severe a punishment. After all, Dog Tanyon's not a criminal. It's for his own good. You know how unpredictable he can be. No doubt about it. The captain is doing it to protect him. But how long do you think he'll have to be in there? What is it, Planchette? I have an urgent message for my master. It's very important that I speak to him. Certainly, Planchette. Visits are allowed, and I'm sure he'd enjoy the company. Well, I have very unpleasant news for him, I'm afraid. A pity. I'll go see him. Master Canyon. Hello, Planchette. For you, master. It was just delivered to the house by that bully, Captain Whittemer, who said that if you wanted to save the life of its owner, you have to go to Gallard Castle. Let me see that. It's a cup from Juliet's dress, Planchette. 
Her perfume, those scoundrels, they've kidnapped her. Now where did he say I had to go? He said that you should go to Gallard Castle. Very well, bring my horse. I have brought him, sir. He's outside the prison gate. Thank you. Huh? Canyon, where are you You're going? going? I'm sorry, but I must go. When I return, I'll tell the captain that you had nothing to do with my running away. Never mind about us. What about yourself? If you take one step outside of this prison, you'll be expelled from the Royal Musketeers. I must. Then at least tell us why. You'll only do yourselves harm if you get involved. It's a personal affair. Do you know what's going on, Planchet? Mademoiselle Juliet is a captive in Gallard Castle. Captive? Now I understand why D'Artagnan is willing to give it all up. It's a trap! There are times when there's no choice but to leap into the fire even knowing you'll get burned. I'm going with him. What about us? We can't let Aramis hog all the fun for himself. And if we're expelled from the Musketeers, it will be because we have stayed true to our motto. One for all! My master's a little wild, but those guys are absolutely wacko. What? D'Artagnan has disobeyed my orders? Did he say where he was going? To Gallard Castle. When he left, Porthos, Aramis, and Athos were right behind him, sir. They've probably gone to bring him back. No, sir. They told me to inform you that they felt they had to help their friend no matter what the punishment was when they got back. Very well. You may return to duty. Yes, sir. Mm, I know these musketeers, and I know they wouldn't disobey my orders unless it was an absolute emergency. The cardinal is involved in this. He's up to something. I can feel it in my bones. A trap. Paul, would you come in here immediately, please? Hey, Paul, sir. I want you to give the order for combat alert. I want the entire corps ready to leave on maneuvers in half an hour and notify the palace, Paul. Yes, sir. Mm, it's a risky game with high stakes, the fate of those four and the existence of the corps itself. I love a cat. <laughs> D'Artagnan enters the castle, he will never be able to leave it. And the men outside are at the station. Yes, as are the men on the parapets. I've stationed one platoon of our guards between those rocks, just in case. If he manages to escape the castle, we'll get him there. Your plan is flawless. Have you noticed, friends? Easy getting in, but difficult coming out. He is a company. Musketeers. Excellent. Now I can accuse them of being his accomplices in the conspiracy. Ah, the France will believe they are traitors. Come, we shall give them the welcome they deserve. You in the castle, listen to me. I am Dog Tanyan, ex-cadet of the King's Musketeers. I've come for Mademoiselle Juliet. Bring her to me at once. I am Aramis, ex-musketeer of the king, and I second everything Dog Tanyan has said. Now release Mademoiselle Juliet! Ex-musketeer Porthos. Athos, ex-musketeer. You pack of cowards holding a lady hostage, how can you live with your shame? Open those gates! What's all this racket? Open the gates. It looks suspicious to me. You two wait here just in case while we go in. Look, it's Juliet! Be careful, my friend. It could be a trap. Are you positive? I am! Juliet! It better be a word trap. Get them! Yeah. 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 
I agree. The one they want is you, my friend. That is correct, Aramis. But since the three of you were kind enough to accompany him, we'll be happy to accommodate all four of you. And now you will surrender to us immediately. You take one, I'll handle roast for you. I've heard that you are an excellent swordsman, Rochefort, but you're no match for me, and you know it. <laughs> You'll be the one to give up. Damn it, monsieur! A duel of cavaliers. For this, they should have come out by now. Mm -hmm. We'll have to go in there and get them. walls, too. Take your positions, men. Good luck. Yay! His eminence says to get ready for combat. Yay! Pull back. We're surrounded by guardsmen on every side. All of us is right, my god. We must escape at once or we will all be captured. Agreed. My men are losing. Archers, kill them. Go on, quickly. Hurry up, Athos! <laughs> 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 Surrender or we die fighting. You know my choice. Is this the end of D'Artagnan and the Three Musketeers? How can they possibly be saved? I'm sorry, friends. This is all my fault. Take it easy. This isn't over yet, D'Artagnan. Excellent. I needed only one conspirator to get rid of Treville and his musketeers. Now I have four. You have my congratulations, Eminence. Capture them, but do not kill them. I want them alive. Take them! Farewell, mates. Thank you for your friendship. One for all! And, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. oh. Who could this be? Why, it's Monsieur Treville and the Musketeers. But how can he save D'Artagnan and his friends? To use force against the Cardinal would be breaking the law. But if he can convince the Cardinal that he's willing to take that risk, then perhaps... Treville must be crazy to threaten me like this. Then perhaps, perhaps there might just be a way. Welcome, Captain. Hmm? What is the meaning of this, Treville? What a pleasant surprise, Eminence. It's good to see you. I just happen to be in this area drilling my men. Just by chance, of course. Why, yes, Your Eminence, but I'm glad you're here. It will give you an opportunity to see the Royal Musketeers in action. Oh, 
You traitor! You'd use force against me? Your eminence, how could you think such a thing? It was a 21-gun salute in your honor. I, uh, yes. <laughs> what a coincidence. I see you have your royal guardsmen out on maneuvers also. And what a handsome group they are indeed. Mm, yes, of course. It's quite apparent why you're unhappy with their performance, Eminence. I think you made the proper choice in coming out to drill them yourself. Mm-hmm. I'm glad I was here, for now I shall personally see to it that those intruders are punished. You needn't bother. I plan to punish them myself for disobeying my orders. Royal Musketeers Porthos, Athos, and Aramis, and Cadet D'Artagnan, you are hereby under arrest. Good day, Your Eminence. <laughs> Treville, someday you will pay for this. Monsieur Treville has foiled the Cardinal's scheme. Would he have attacked Richelieu if his gamble had failed? That will be his secret, but we do know this. When evil is near and deeds must be done, he's sworn one for all and all for one. In our next episode, the Cardinal plans new ways of capturing Juliet, while D'Artagnan makes a new friend who teaches him many valuable lessons that help D'Artagnan to thwart the black mustache and rescue his lady love, Juliet.